morning, uh, Richie. Welcome to the Flagstaff Gallery. Can you please tell us a little bit about your, about your background with regard to art and how you got involved in being a professional photographer? Yeah, well, um, photography is something I always grew up with. Um, my grandfather was a press photographer uh, down in Hawke's Bay in Napier. Um, when I was a small kid, I remember him always coming home and uh, going into the dark room at the end of the, end of the house. And we always had to be good and knock, knock go in and knock on the door and, and wait for him to come out. And when we got slightly older, he would always kind of, you know, let us go in while he was working. And I kind of really remember, you know, pictures being developed in the, in the tray. And I, I found the whole thing a very magical kind of experience, which is something that's carried through with my own life. And is that why you choose to continue working in photography? Yeah, um, I've only ever worked as a photographer. It's what I've always done. Um, when I was in my late teens, I started working for the Daily Telegraph in Napier um, after my grandfather had retired and um, then moved from there to the New Zealand Herald where I've been for the last kind of 13 years. And um, yeah, that's all I do. And what is the primary motivation behind your work? Um, for the underwater photography, um, I got into that because I was looking for something different away from the daily deadlines and pressures from working for the paper. They're, um, you, you know, every, every day at the newspaper we're just working to tight deadlines and it's always um, just getting the picture out and I was looking for something that had a bit more meaning behind the pictures. So um, that kind of led naturally into underwater photography of me or some of the stories I was trying to tell. Uh, there's something about the underwater photography which makes it fit into more of the fine art realm um, or do you see it as still being a form of documentary similar to what you do for the paper? Um, I think it definitely falls into a kind of the fine, the, fine, the fine art, though the documentary side is, you know, is, an, is an important element of, of, of that as well. Um, I'm, my prime focus is, you know, telling, you know, um, New Zealand stories underwater. Um, yeah. And is that something you wish the viewer to take away with them when they look at your work? Yeah, there's all, there's an there's an element of a, a story behind all my work, um, and and I really, you know, kind of though they're very beautiful images, you know, there's often really poignant stories behind them. Are there any artists uh, that have influenced you? Yeah, um, earlier on um, I was influenced by a lot of New York artists, funny enough, like Ralph Gibson. Um, and I just um, tend to draw from um, all walks of different types of art and then bring that into the underwater photography. Underwater photography is generally being tackled by mostly scientists and it's kind of got that very beautiful but specimen kind of element in most underwater photography where I try to really work with more of a spatial concept and um, context and kind of look for much more kind of um, I don't know almost a sense of a seascape in a lot of my, in my work opposed to the actual you know, um, object that's been photographed. And what are you particularly drawn to about underwater photography? Um, light works really differently underwater. Um, you start to lose uh, spectrums of colour very quickly. And I don't know, there's, there's just a, there's just a, it's no one kind of, kind of thing, but it's kind of all comes together as a, as a, a, a certainly an interesting medium to explore. So, uh, is it somewhat the actual experience of taking the photo as well? It must be a, a bit of a challenge. Yeah, a lot of it is, you know, a lot of it, the hardest thing is actually just getting to the location. Um, you know, uh, and you know, we travel, you know, thousands of kilometres in, in ships and uncomfortable conditions just to get to a, a dive site with an idea to try shoot something. So. Um, yeah, it's a, a, a you know the loca locations kind of a, a, a can be so remote. You know, it's a true beauty of, of, of what we're trying to do at times. 
Which brings me to my next question. What are the challenges you face creating art in New Zealand? Well, I think that with the underwater photography, um, there's a huge potential um, in the storytelling of, of great stories that haven't been told before. Um, New Zealand is quite isolated. We're in the Pacific, but um, it's, we're almost our marine life is quite different, um, and you know a lot of the the, the projects I'm working on are just things that have not been done before. And do you feel that the New Zealand culture influences your work at all? Yeah, ab abso absolutely. Um, I think it's uh, hard to <laughs> miss it. And you're going to New York next year. What excites you most about it? Oh, I love New York. It's such a fascinating uh, city. Um, I spent about three weeks there um, in my early 20s working, um, documenting New Zealanders who are um, doing big things in, the, in, the, in New York. And um, I think back to that time, and it's, um, you know, I often draw back on some of the experiences I had in New York and a lot of the galleries I saw there. And um, you know, those are the kind of things that I've life experiences you know, I like to bring back to my work. And what do you hope to bring to the exhibition? Um, I hope to kind of show uh, a different view of a few, of a few um, stories. Um, in particular, one of my images is William Trubridge, who's a Kiwi freediver, and he's currently got the world record for um, the uh, deepest um, freediver in the world. Um, as well as um, the sharks, um, you know, I find sharks are always, or generally portrayed as quite um, aggressive uh, animals. Where really they're quite a beautiful uh, animal to kind of be in the water with, and very lucky to get close. And I like to kind of, you know, try to show the the beauty behind that piece. Yeah. And finally, what are your thoughts about the Flagstaff Gallery bringing New Zealand art to New York? I mean, it's um, fantastic. Um, Flagstaff is just such a great contemporary uh, New Zealand gallery with um, such a different array of artists and, um, and a really good kind of spectrum across the whole New Zealand um, uh, art community. So I think it's, a, you know, a, it's the right gallery to take this work over.